Hey everyone, welcome back to TWT. My name is Lynn and um, in this video, I'm gonna do part three of the vintage Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. Um, I just did um, the wands and swords in part two. And now this is part three. I'm gonna do the um, cups and pentacles um, as far as minor arcanas, okay? So, um, they're not in complete order, but I did organize them based on their elements. One, swords, cups, and pentacles. So, the five of cups uh, means some type of loss or regret. Uh, nine of cups is wish fulfillment. And this looks upside down. It shouldn't be upside down. But yeah, that's for wish fulfillment. Um, three cups is for sisterhood or friendship. Uh, nine of cups is the romantic. Somebody younger. Um, Queen of cups uh, stands for a water sign, a uh, female. Um, it's going to be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see. Um, ooh, Six of Cups is going to be the past or a soulmate. Um, Seven of Cups is about options. And Ace of Cups is a new love or new, new joy. Um, Eight of Cups is about moving on or letting go. Uh, Four of Cups is about boredom. And Page of Cups is a somebody younger, somebody that's a child, um, somebody that has a message for you, or um, yeah, somebody that's just like very imaginative. Okay, um, Ten of Cups, I call this the happy ending, like you get everything you want. Um, two cups is, yeah, you have a connection with someone. So it's a mutual connection. And then king cups is somebody, that's a male water sign, a male Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And somebody that's very balanced, okay? And then the queen of cups is the female counterpart of the king cups, uh, a female water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, and wait, that's Queen of Swords. What the heck? I don't know how this ended up here, but yeah, that does not belong in the cups. So Queen of Swords is somebody that's very blunt, and that's the counterpart of the King of Swords. Okay, so now we're at the Pentacles, and we're gonna start with the Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles have to do with um, the earth signs. Um, they're very hardworking, very practical. Um, and it has to do with like material wealth, okay? Um, so Ten of Pentacles is a legacy. Um, Nine of Pentacles is independence. Uh, Four of Pentacles is somebody hoarding or not like sharing. Uh, five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold or some type of, heart, some type of uh, hardship. King of Pentacles is a male uh, earth sign. So somebody that's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, somebody that has a lot of material wealth. Um, Queen of Pentacles is a female earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And somebody that's very financially secure. And then the Two of Pentacles is juggling or balancing. Um, three of Pentacles has to do with work. Um, I've seen this being called as a third party situation. I'm not seeing it. It's basically somebody that is like, starting to show their craft and other people are taking notice so it has to do with work uh let's see page of pentacles um somebody younger somebody that's a child 
and they have a new idea or new venture. Uh, Six of Pentacles is about give and take. Eight of Pentacles is about self-mastery. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is somebody younger, somebody that's very cautious. Ace of Pentacles is, let me see, let me look that up. Yeah, it's a new venture. Um, Seven of Pentacles is about um, harvest, uh, some sort of investment and in what you, the returns are or waiting for results. Um, and then this is, yeah, we started with a tower change. So yeah, that's all the pentacles. And um, this is the first card that came out. So yeah, um, we're at this about six minute mark. So yeah, um, that's all of it. That's the cups and the pentacles. Um, I hope it's helped you in some way. Um, this is the vintage, authentic vintage writer Waite Smith card. Um, it's vintage is from 1971 and, um, yeah, that is all for today and I will talk to you soon.